I highly recommend Invincible a lot, especially because I love their characters so much, like Mark or Invincible, Adam Eve, Cecil, Robot, Alan the Alien, are just a handful of great characters in this series. But the two characters that really stood out for me are the people who shaped Mark Grayson, his mom, Debbie Grayson, and, and his dad, Nolan, or Omni-Man. But of course, ladies first, Debbie Grayson is just an awesome mom and an awesome woman. She really held down the fort without her husband, really shapes Mark's ideals in the process, and instills why humanity is important to him and to Nolan. She's basically the main reason why Earth ain't conquered, because she really instilled that humanity into Nolan and kind of saved it in the process. But with the way how she copes with her husband's betrayal is really tragic and just sad to watch sometimes. She's honestly invincible in that way though. To keep yourself afloat like that mentally is insane and that's why there's so much props to her for that. That's why I love Debbie a lot, especially in season two. She's great. Next is Omni-Man, the man who Mark aspires to be before you know the the, the great thing about Omni-Man is that he has this presence to him, making each scene with him filled with tension and suspense. And it's all justified too, because he is a menace to the entire planet, and there's no other way to describe it. But he's also more than just a threat, he's also human, as much as he would deny. That entire season 1 finale with him was just him trying to deny his humanity. No matter how hard he knocks Mark's teeth out, he's trying to knock out all that humanity he instilled over the past 20 years that he was on Earth, trying to fully embrace his Viltrumite heritage once and for all. The thing is though, Mark keeps pulling him back, and his humanity is found and endured through Mark and Debbie. And the main reason why he has humanity in the first place is because our dearly beloved Debbie instilled that in him long ago. And that's why, you know, the fact that Mark is still alive shows that Nolan's humanity is still alive too. That's why I love these both. I love these two characters so much because they really added this dynamic to the show and it makes the show far more complex and interesting. I highly recommend Invincible. Go check it out.